Do you smell what the rock is cooking? That's right, what's up? started with this video give it a you already know thumbs up bro we have some dope news items for this video the first one came out of nowhere 2k might be doing this <coughs> with all of their franchises we got nba 2k20 but we also got nba playgrounds made by saber interactive a spinoff of 2k NBA 2K Playgrounds. Now, WWE seems to be getting the same exact treatment. Now, calm down for hardcore WWE fans. We will still be getting a game. Not this year. Sometime next year, we will get a sim more simulation wrestling type game. Which, <coughs> sounds sort of funny. Simulation wrestling. Wrestling is fake anyway, so it don't matter. But, this is... Sort of like an NBA Jam version of wrestling. She's on fire. Bruh, you saw The Rock throw, was that Stone Cold uh, to the alligator? Bro, this looks pretty dope. And it comes out fall 2020. It's called WWE Battlegrounds. A more arcade. Look at that. Yeah, he threw him into the alligator. <coughs> Get her done. Um, This is a more arcade version of your wrestling game and it looks pretty dope i'm actually hyped for this bro knowing that we're also still gonna get your more traditional wrestling game later on and the game did need a break uh, the fans were not pleased with the last version wwe 2k20 so many glitches bugs they just needed more time to polish the game and so while we're waiting on a more polished simulation wrestling game this is what fans will be getting and i like what i see so far now <coughs> i haven't seen anywhere where any platforms have been confirmed but this looks like a game that will be on playstation 4 xbox and the nintendo switch just based on the art style it looks cool it looks dope this is an official statement from 2k we hear you and we know you want more from the franchise so here's what we're going to do we're applying what we've learned to the next WWE 2K simulation game with a renewed focus on quality and fun. We want to ensure the development team at Visual Concepts can create a game that will entertain grizzled WWE 2K veterans as well as newcomers who want to climb through the ropes and step into the ring for the very first time. So they pretty much said we're taking some more time to polish the next simulation traditional WWE 2K game. And while that game is still cooking, which it needs, they need to polish it. They're going to be releasing this bad boy, which I'm all in for, bro. The game looks lit, all right? And so that's WWE Battlegrounds coming holiday. I will be playing it on that Series X, boy. All right. The next news item. Bro, the last one is pretty lit. This um, Xbox. <laughs> Wait till we check that out. But before we get to that one, bro, major PlayStation League. The Last of Us Part 2 has been leaked. Major. I think they leaked. Not I think. The ending. The game ending has been leaked. Not just the ending. It's reported that the entire story has been leaked for The Last of Us 2. And it's coming from the most unlikely source. It seems it's a former developer of the game who has been disgruntled with um, Sony 
uh, the development team, something with disputing on his payments. He didn't get paid what he thought he should have gotten paid. And as a result, he leaked the game, bro. So, <clears throat> and I have to say, the first game, I beat the first game on my um, PlayStation 4. Last of Us Remastered. The story was pretty good, man. That's what kept me playing. And so, to know that the entire story has been leaked. Stay away from the internet. Do not search Last of Us 2 until you plan on getting this game. I'm probably going to be passing on this game. But until next gen starts, I'm going to be just clearing out my backlog, bro. Clearing out my games so I can start fresh on that Series X. But the entire game has been leaked. Crazy, bro. And the last news item for this video, bro. This looks lit. This is called Xbox Project Oris. It is the brain. This article is coming from T3.com. The brainchild of a talented designer, Joseph Dumory, who posed the idea that the game console often remains just a console. He went ahead designed a new Xbox console that not only includes audio file 3D speaker uh, the audio file 3D speaker system but one that also can project a high resolution 8K HDR image of games due to a built-in projector into the system so the system comes with built-in speakers and a projector where you can play the Xbox from anywhere bro check this out <laughs> project or oris also has a digital assistant that can turn off room lights play music when asked from a user's library and set gaming reminder and um the most the dopest thing for me is the gamepad it said it's a next gen gamepad which not only includes a centrally mounted touchscreen, but also a fingerprint touchpad and um, over the air wireless charging. Bro, this is an insane concept. If this thing were to launch in 2020, <coughs> you're looking at at least $10,000. This is a $10,000 console, at least. Bro, check out the gamepad, bro. I have to say this. When I saw PlayStation's DualShock um, DualSense for the PlayStation 5, I was like, man, it looks lit. I liked it. I mean, it looked just like an Xbox console, but it looked lit. Um, I still like to prefer the design of the Xbox console, but the controller that's coming with the Xbox Series X does look a little bland, bro. I already have... I have an Elite 2 controller, so I'm good uh, with controllers. Ah, the one thing I want in an Xbox controller, gyro aiming, bro. Gyro aiming would be lit, man. But other than that, this controller looks lit, man. Check out thumb screen, uh, your fingerprint. That's crazy, bro. This is some high-tech stuff, but this is only a concept, a concept. But I would be in for this, bro. 20,000. <laughs> this is 20,000. 8K monitor that's built in. 20,000. All right, dudes. What do you guys think of everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things game, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Be
become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces. Thank you.